Hey Gisters, this is our 10th episode of Just The Gist. Thank you so much for all of your watching, commenting, sharing, liking and subscribing over the last 10 months. We hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have and we hope to continue to capture your interest in just one minute. Theo, take it away. The current Ebola virus outbreak in West Africa is the most severe outbreak of Ebola in terms of numbers of cases and deaths since the discovery of the virus in 1976. The outbreak started in Guinea in December 2013 and spread from there to Liberia, Sierra Leone and Nigeria. On the 20th of August, 2,615 suspected cases and 1,427 deaths were reported. So far, no Ebola treatment exists, but a promising drug called ZMAP is under development. This drug is the result of a collaboration between American company MAP Biopharmaceutical and the Canadian company Defirus Incorporated, and the research project has been funded by the U.S. government and the Public Health Agency of Canada. How does ZMAP work? Start the clock. ZMAP is a mix of three monoclonal antibodies which bind the Ebola virus. The virus is then not able to enter host cells, which it needs to multiply itself. The body's immune system is then able to recognize the virus and can eliminate it. The monoclonal antibodies are produced by injecting mice with a protein from the Ebola virus. The mice then produce antibodies that recognize and bind the Ebola protein. The mouse antibodies need to be modified in a way that they resemble human antibodies to avoid an immune reaction against the antibodies, a process called humanization. Tests in monkeys gave promising results, and two health workers, Kent Brandley and Nancy Wrightbull, who were infected during the Ebola work in Liberia, were treated with ZMAP. Their condition improved and they could be released from hospital. The problem is that the clinical trials haven't been run and the Food and Drug Administration hasn't approved the drug, which would take several months. The World Health Organization is discussing whether it is ethical to use an untested drug to treat people suffering from Ebola.